Mr. Chancellor, I present to you Professor Pamela Matson, one of the world's leading and most influential scholars in sustainability science. Dr. Matson is the Chester Naramur Dean of the School of Earth, Energy and Environmental Sciences the Richard and Rhoda Goldman Professor in Environmental Studies at Stanford, and Senior Fellow at the Woods Institute for the Environment. An interdisciplinary earth scientist and an organizational strategist, Dr. Matson works to reconcile the needs of people and those of the planet. A MacArthur Fellow and the elected member of the National Academy of Sciences, Dr. Matson is also a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and a fellow of the, of the California Academy of Sciences, Ecological Society of America, and American Association for the Advancement of Science. In 2013, she was named one of the top 100 women of influence by the Silicon Valley Business Journal and was one of a number of scientists awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2007 for their work on the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Dr. Matson is a prolific author. Her research addresses an array of environmental and sustainability issues, including the sustainability of agricultural systems and the vulnerability of people and places to climate change. Her early research focused on ecosystem nutrient cycling, particularly the role of nitrogen in the environment, but soon broadened into studies of agricultural systems, food security, human, human landscape interaction, and sustainability. The essence of Dr. Matson's scholarly and practical research is captured in two of her recent books, entitled Seeds of Sustainability, Lesson from the Birthplace of the Green Revolution, which was published in 2013, and Pursuing Sustainability, a Guide to the Science and Practice, released only last year, which lays the foundations for sustainability science. With your permission, I will read an extract from one of the reviews of this letter book, since it captures the essence of Dr. Matson's work. The review says, Sustainability can seem like a faraway, nebulous dream. Through a clear framework, iconic case studies, and a beautiful, accessible style, pursuing sustainability brings this dream to life. It is a must read for anyone concerned about the future health of our planet. I cannot imagine any more appropriate title of a book this week. Mr. Chancellor, I present to you Dr. Pamela Matson, so that you may confer upon her the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. I now invite our most recent graduate, Dr. Pamela Matson, to deliver the convocation address. Dr. Matson. Oh, thank you. Chancellor Mann, Principal and Vice Chancellor Fortier, Mr. Cobit, Chair of the Board of Governors, Dean Geatman, proud parents and guests, and most of all, members of the graduating class of 2017. Good afternoon and congratulations. I am so very pleased to be here to uh, congratulate you and to celebrate with you at this very important step in your lives. And of course, I'm deeply honored to be receiving a degree along with all of the rest of you here. An honorary degree from McGill University is a big deal. This is a university of such high standing in this country, Canada, in the United States, and really all around the world. So thank you for that. This is important to me personally, too, to be here with you, because I have lots of close connections, good friends among your excellent faculty and students, and because of the wonderful partnership that my state of California has with your province of Quebec. We together are addressing climate change. And I'm very proud of that. <laughs> and you know, we're making progress despite what 
I hope is a very temporary backsliding in my country. <laughs> At any rate, I'm so pleased to be here today and thankful, very, very much thankful and humbled by, um, in order to receive this honorary degree. Now, graduates, as you're going through your graduation ceremonies, I know that many of you are looking back on your years here. You are thinking about the courses you took, um, the knowledge and skills that you've attained, the friends you've made, the networks that you've built while you're here that will stay with you forever so much to be celebrated. But this is also a commencement ceremony. At Stanford University, we talk about graduate, graduation as commencement. It's the beginning of something new, as well as the end of something, hopefully, that was very fun and very important. So I'd like to focus for a few minutes on the new beginnings, on the years in front of you. I know that many of the people in this room celebrating with you here today have great hopes for you. But probably most of us parents would say that most of all, we hope that you will be happy. But what constitutes happiness? From my perspective, one of the keys to happiness is that you use your knowledge and skills in ways that do some good for the world. You know the challenges as well as I. Uh, we are a planet of 7.5 billion people and counting. We'll hit 10 or 11 billion people in your lifetimes. And that means greatly increasing demands and needs for food, water, energy, other resources. It means more and more people living in vulnerable places. It means that we need to find a way to reduce climate change and to reduce our risks and vulnerabilities to climate change impacts as well as to a whole bunch of other environmental challenges. So there's lots of big challenges out there and they have to be understood and dealt with now in the near term. We can't put them off again for future generations to worry about. So many of you, I hope, will use the science and engineering that you learned here and the ways of thinking that you learned here to help address those challenges and turn them into opportunities. Opportunities to help, to help meet the needs of people while preserving the life support systems of the planet on which we and the millions of other species with whom we share the planet depend. So people talk about sustainability, and it is kind of a buzzword used for a lot of different things. But to me, this is what sustainability is all about. It's about working to ensure the well-being of people, not just here, but all around the world, not just today, but in future generations as well. And that includes, of course, among other things, working to ensure that our environment, our resources, our ecosystems are thriving, are functioning, are not in decline. So that's a simple statement of sustainability and you really can lead transformative change for sustainability. Um, and I think the contributions you make and the impact you will have on the future can be enormous. Exactly how you do that though is uh, not easy to predict. None of us, or at least very few of us, take a nice pre predictable linear path in our own careers. I certainly didn't. Um, along my zigzag path, I, uh, after my bachelor's degree, I grew orchids, I managed a music store, I taught reading, I worked for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, I became a scientist and a professor, and then became a dean, and now I'm trying to figure out what to do next. <laughs> So believe me, it's really okay if you don't exactly know what you're going to be doing five years from now or one year from now or even one month from now. In many ways, how could you? We're living in an incredibly complex, rapidly changing, disruptive world. Um, there will be new challenges and new opportunities all the time. And you'll have to learn how to be agile and adaptive and willing to learn new things and go for it. But I believe that the skills and the knowledge and the ability to learn that you gained here in your years at McGill will remain with you. And you'll, they'll make it possible for you to craft solutions in this changing world. So all you need to do is use your brains, use your knowledge, get engaged and stay engaged. 
stay hopeful and even optimistic, keep learning, work hard on behalf of others as well as yourselves, and um, I think if you do those things, it will no doubt contribute to a lifetime of happiness. So again, thank you so much for the honor. Thank you so much for the honor of the honorary degree and for being able to be here to talk with you today. Graduates, you have my best wishes for a very happy life. Congratulations, class of 2017.